Shalom and welcome back for another amazing parasha adventure with Joseph and Vicky. And Jacob dwelt in the land of Goshen for seventeen years, and at the end of his year was one hundred and forty-seven. There he and his clan multiplied exceedingly. Jacob called his son Joseph and asked him to deal kindly and truly with him, and to not bury him in Egypt. Joseph swore to him, and Jacob bowed himself upon the bed's head. Joseph brought his two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, in to see Jacob. Jacob retells the story of when God visited him in the city of Luz, in the land of Canaan. There, God Almighty promised me that He will make my seed fruitful, and we will multiply into a multitude for an everlasting possession. And Jacob behold Joseph's two sons and asked Joseph to bring them closer so that he may bless them. And Jacob placed his right hand on Ephraim, the younger, and his left on Manasseh, the eldest. And Jacob blessed them both, saying, God make Ephraim as Manasseh, and he set Ephraim before Manasseh, and Jacob blessed the lads, and said that his name would be on them, and that they would grow into a multitude. Jacob said to Joseph, Behold, I die, but God shall be with you and bring you again unto the land of your fathers. Jacob called his other sons and blessed them. Reuben, my firstborn, the beginning of my strength, you are disqualified from receiving the firstborn inheritance because of your disobedience. Simeon and Levi, instruments of cruelty, let my soul not enter into their assembly, for their anger so fierce. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. Judah, your brothers shall praise. Judah is a lion's cub. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet. Zebulun shall dwell by the seashore. He shall be a haven for ships, and his border shall rest on Sidon. Issachar is a strong-boned donkey crouching among the sheepfolds. Dan shall govern his people. Gad shall be raided by raiders, but he shall raid at their heels. Asher's bread shall be rich, and he shall yield royal dainties. Naphtali is a hind let loose which yields lovely fawns. Joseph is a wild donkey by a spring, wild colts on the hillside. Benjamin is a ravenous wolf. In the morning he consumes the foes, and in the evening he divides the spoils. And Jacob died and Joseph instructed the physicians to embalm his father. And all of Egypt mourned for Jacob. Seventy days. So Joseph and his father's household remained in Egypt. Joseph lived one hundred and ten years. He lived to see the children of the third generation of Ephraim. And he said to his children, I am about to die. God will surely take notice of you and bring you up from this land to the land he promised an oath to Abraham, Isaac, and to Jacob. And Joseph made the sons of Israel swear, saying, When God has taken notice of you, you shall carry up my bones from here. And Joseph died at the age of one hundred and ten years, and he was embalmed and placed in a coffin in Egypt. This is the end of our parasha. We hope you join us next week for another amazing adventure in the next book of the Torah, Exodus, Shabbat Shalom.